Right. And you might say, well, do you think that you all are the only ones that speak in the truth? No, but I know that we're people that searches after the truth in the scriptures and that God reveals the truth to us. Thank you, Lord. No, we're not the only ones, but we're ones. Praise God. And you do well to listen <laughs> and take heed. If you're hungry, you'll be fed. Amen. So listen closely. Say, Lord, give me ears to hear and eyes to see what you'd say, what you'd say to me, what you'd let me see. Give me the light of your word. Give me revelation. And then when you hear it, walk in it. And when you walk in it, when you walk in the light that you have, more light will come. More light will come. That's right. But if you see some light and you don't walk in it, your light stops until you start being a doer of of the light that you have, that God's give you. If you're not going to do what God has shown you to do in the first place, see, he says he'd be a lamp unto our feet and a light to our path. So we need to walk in the revelation that God's give us and more light will come. We can take another step. More light will come. We can take another step. Read 1 John chapter 1. And when you hear something, don't reject it. Don't say, well, our church don't believe it like that. Or, you know, our preacher don't preach it like that. Examine the scriptures. Look at God's word and ask God to give you the truth because people do twist the scriptures. The Bible says they do. They wrestle with them. They twist them. And they lead people down the wrong path. <clears throat> so be very careful. And make sure it's the Word. And make sure it's the true meaning of the Word. You say, well, I don't know. Well, that's what the Holy Spirit's for. He's to guide you into all truth. He'll guide you there. Praise God. I'd like to introduce you, Brother Kenneth Gross. Praise God. We're all dismissed. We can go home because you preached all my message. You made it short and sweet, but you did it good. <laughs> hey, man, that's good. Praise the Lord. That's good. Amen. Thank the Lord. Well, it's good to be here this morning. Amen. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Welcome to everyone that's tuned in with us. By television and by radio. God bless you. And we're privileged to be here, blessed to be here this morning again. Oh, God is so good. Oh. Light's coming, ain't it? Light's coming. Praise God. Mm. Let's have a word of prayer. Father, we, we thank you and we love you and we praise you and we honor you this morning. And Father, thank you for the word of God. Thank you for speaking to our hearts. We open up our hearts to you and we say, Lord, speak to us. Thank you so much. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for being so good to us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So the word we need this morning, we receive it. We receive it. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, I thank you for utterance. I thank you for the precious, blessed Holy Spirit. Glory to God. And I thank you for people, by your word, being made free today. Being made free. Lord, I know you're working. You're working in people's lives. And we'll give you glory. Be a part of that today, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Man, just, don't sometimes it, it, it in the Spirit of God just stronger than other times? You, you experience that some? Hmm. Sometimes it's strong. Amen. Sometimes it's real strong. Sometimes it's not, so, not strong at all, you know. 
But boy, 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 praise God forevermore. First John, chapter 1. I do want to read this to you. Now, we're just having a little fun with that, but you know what? I think that's awesome. Amen. Brenda don't know what I'm going to say and talk about. And she gets up there and hits on every single thing that I'm, that I think the Lord wants me to do this morning. 